Seattle's morning news, G. Scott from the G. and Ursula Show joining us to tell us about what we say every week, a must-win game for the Seahawks against the L.A. Rams. I mean, it is must-win. I mean, we're trying to all see the Seahawks prevent from losing four in a row at home. And think about that for a second, right? We don't want that to happen. And we also want to prevent them losing five of the last six games. We also want them to win this game because they go into a bye week. And then after they come out of the bye week, they travel down to San Francisco. Oof. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a tough schedule for them. <laughs> it's, it's like today is the first and a lot of people paying rent. You know what I'm saying? But they yeah. got that real big other bill that's coming out in FOMO days. Exactly. Gee, I, I know there's no easy answer to this, but... What happened to the home field advantage? What happened to the 12s at Lumen? Like, it's just not the same, it feels like. And that's not just this season. It feels like that's yeah. been the last several yeah, this seasons. Yeah, is, this is really easy. I figured it out. I've been doing a lot of research. No, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> the 12s are fine. They're there. Mm. The, the Seahawks got to win. Mm. And so, let me, let me, let me tell you. Let, mm. Let's keep it a buck. You know what I mean? Like, we live in Seattle. Mm. It's really expensive. Yeah. Season tickets are expensive, right. right? So you have sometimes you might have a situation where somebody's like, well, you know what? I'll go to this game, this game, this game, and then I might sell for this game, this game, this game, right? I don't know that you can prevent that. I talked to one guy in his divorce decree. Yeah. In his divorce wow. decree, they have to sell the tickets for profit every year and split the proceeds. They can't even go to the games? They have to sell the tickets out. They, they sell the tickets. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. So, well, what do we have going for us for this uh, game coming up Sunday? Yeah, we, we it's still the Seattle Seahawks. Mm -hmm. They still got Geno Smith. Geno Smith leads the league right now in passing yards. Right, he's still pretty good. They still got K9 Kenneth Walker the third. Right, the Seahawks have all the ingredients. Wow. And, and one of the things. I go over the film with Brandon Meebane every single week when we go over the film of what happened previous and what's to come, and. And going over the Bills game, even though it was a nasty game, the Seahawks have the talent. This isn't a talent issue. This is comes down to straight execution, alignment, discipline. So they got to get it done. What are the Rams like that's coming into town? Mm -hmm. The Rams are similar to what we will see with the Buffalo Bills. Now, their record isn't that good. So some of you guys are probably thinking like, oh, well, the Rams record is it. Don't pay attention to the record. Because this is a division game, right? And this Rams team right now is playing really well. They just come off a win of, of beating the Minnesota Vikings. And they have not played uh, since thir last Thursday oh, night. so they're fresh. So they fresh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And they got a run game. And what's the key to football? The run game. You got to run the ball and stop the run. Come on now, Colleen. You taught me that. That's our what run I'm game, talking you about. You said Gino's good. You know, he's got a great passing yeah, game, so, but our run game is still not there, huh? Now, uh, no. All right, is DK coming back? That's what I was going to get to. I knew he was going to ask that. He didn't practice Wednesday. He didn't practice Thursday. If, if I'm a betting man, which I don't, if I'm a betting man, is that he does not come back this week so that he can get this week off. Right. He get the bye week and then be ready for the Niners. I doubt seeing him play out there uh, this Sunday because, I mean, let's be real, you don't want him to rush back. However, do any of your kids have a B growing up? A, a what? A, a B, a blanket, like their favorite yes, blanket. they still have their they blanket. They still have their of blanket, course, right? Yeah. David, did you have your blanket, bro? No, no, oh, I didn't. Okay. But I, I kind of do now. I have several Seahawks blankets that are kind of my, like, but, but, superstitious blankets. Right, but they're just like that, you know, I, we call it the B, your blanket. That's yeah. the one you kind of rub your face with. Smell it. Yeah, you smell yeah. it and all that. Uh, DK is Gino's B. Oh. That's his blankie, <laughs> right? right? It, 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 yes, yeah. he needs him. You can clearly see the difference in that offense when DK is not back. So we're going to have to rush back. Um, I know you guys going to ask for the final score. Sure. I wasn't uh, going to this week, actually, because I know you get annoyed by 32 27. You always say that. No. Um, I think this game cannot be a big score, a large scoring in the game. Yeah. So I'm going to say it has to be, in order for the Seahawks to win, it has to be a defensive game, uh, 17 14 Seahawks. I like, I was going to say 17 as well. Yeah. 17, okay, 17 14. Yeah. That's this Sunday. You're going to be at Lumen Field with the pre Oh, uh, you know it. Right? You All know right. your boy Go be out check there. out G. Yeah. Thank I like you. that sweater you wear. Thank you. Oh, by, by the way, the candy. 
We had some candies. Comments. No, I don't know if people could see on the live. I was chewing on milk duds while you were talking. <laughs> I <laughs> muted my mic, but I can't help it. I need the leftover candy. So you get a haircut? You get shaved? No, no, I shaved. That's yeah. the deal. Yeah, oh. I look 10 years younger when I shave. <laughs>